So we would like to find the length of the trajectory of uh, the vector valued function e to the negative t comma e to the t comma square root of two times t for uh, time t equals zero to time t equals ln of three. And moreover, the answer should be simplified and expressed in the form a over b where a and b are positive integer numbers. So first of all, let's recall uh, the formula for the length of the trajectory. It's really the integral of the speed. So if, uh, let's say, we go from time t1 to time t2, we need to take the integral of the speed. And when we take the integral of the speed, we usually come up with an expression with an integrand that has a square root. And the general principle is that square roots and integrals do not mix that well. And yeah, at least for uh, this course, it might be useful to try to get rid of the square root. How do we get rid of the square root? By expressing what is under the square root as a perfect square. And then the square root, so if you have something like this, then obviously the square root and the square cancel each other. And we will see that for some of these exercises, we need to be able to acknowledge that what we're looking at is of this form. So we have two squares and the double product of two specific numbers, because according to a very simple identity, this is a plus b uh, all squared. So we will be in this case. Let's see how this all works out for the specific problem. So our first step should be to find the speed and simplify it as much as possible. So let's start by finding the velocity. Let's recall that the speed is the magnitude of the velocity. So this will be negative e to the negative t, comma e to the t, comma square root of two. And if we take the magnitude of this, so as to find the speed, this will give us minus e to the negative t all squared plus e to the t all squared plus square root of 2 all squared. And this is where we somehow need to acknowledge terms that look like this. So first of all, let's rewrite this as follows. The, the negative sign in the first parenthesis doesn't really matter because we're inside the square. So that can be written like this. And then we have plus uh, e to the t all square. And square root of t all square is 2. So once we have done that, then it might not be that implausible to see that uh, the number 2 can be written differently as 2 times the product of what we have here of e to the negative t times e to the t, because these two numbers are reciprocals of each other. So it's, it's useful to remember that e to the negative t is 1 over e to the t which means that e to the negative t times e to the t is equal to 1. So let me rewrite this. So there's some interesting algebra that we need to pay attention to here. So I'm bringing the two right in the middle so that we can see our identity materializing. And now, uh, this term will serve as our a squared. This will be our 2ab, and this will be our b squared. Uh, 
A is simply e to the negative t and B is e to the t and it's all square and now they will simplify and that's it this is quite doable now so we have to go from zero that was the first point in time to ln of three of e to the negative t plus e to the t the antiderivative is pretty straightforward to find we want to go from zero to a length of three and finally we have the very last step where we need to simplify things as much as possible so we have minus e to the negative ln three plus e to the ln three minus minus e to the zero plus e to the zero and okay I, I can put minus zero here but it's the same thing as zero and let's see what we get so first of all what is e to the negative ln three let's start with e to the ln three by the definition of the logarithm this is three okay in general e to the ln of a is a so when we have e to the negative ln three that's not negative three okay it's one over e to the ln three which is one third so now we have all the pieces in place so we will have minus one third plus three minus minus one plus one so that is going to be so this cancels with that and finally we get three minus one third which is the same thing as nine thirds minus one third which is eight thirds so the integral has been computed and all the simplifications have been carried out and that's the final answer thanks for watching